game show where everyone joins in. Weekdays at 4 on the CBBC channel. Pass it on. Welcome to the School of Silence. This is where the noisiest children in the country are sent for intensive silent training. And today, four new pupils have got to step up and prove they've got what it takes to be absolutely silent after just one day's training. Can they do it? Let's go and find out. You might want to cover your ears. This raucous bunch are from Bristol. They're currently having their noise levels assessed by the headmistress and the form tutor. Come to the front. Right, you. Nay. RJ is the first member of the team and makes so much noise at home, he drives his little brother up the wall. Next, you! What's your name? Kira! Kira loves music and likes nothing more than cranking up her favourite tunes full blast. Name? Connor! Connor loves to wind up his mum by making lots of unnecessary noise. His mum is hoping the school will change his ways. You! Name? Lyndon is a keen boxer, and as part of his training, he loves to shout at the top of his voice, and at any other time, too, by the looks of it. I have a feeling it's going to be a tough day for the teachers at this school. Right, get out! That's it! Yes, get out, all of you! Shh! Here's how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to learn how to be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If they are too noisy... <laughs> I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 2000, the latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass, they will graduate and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstop. If they fail to keep that shut, then I will have no choice but to expel them. Now, before we begin, I must ensure the school has been hushed down. Seven seconds to hush down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. It's time for their silent training to start with their first pass of the day with Mr. Gross. Hands up who is aware of my favourite period in history. Any guesses? The Ice Age. And do you know why? Very, very quiet. Come in! Hold the queen. Sit down, please. Right, I am Mr Gross and I am your teacher for general studies. This lesson is the first lesson in your silent training and it's very important because it will prepare you for the rest of the day leading up to your final exam in the gym. And if you fail that, you will be expelled. Remember, Miss Gobstop is listening at all times on these little microphones and if you make too much noise, she will register it on her Gobstop 2000. Do you think you can be silent? No. Right. Well, that's not a good start, is it? Silent training is about to begin. Squirty! Santa! You have 30 seconds to turn the chosen teammate into a squirty Santa. Use a bowl of shaving foam to give them a big beard. Fill the Santa's hat with the rest of the foam and stick it on their head for finish. And all of this must be done in absolute Yes, indeed. Correct. This jar of gobstoppers will determine which child is doing each test. OK, Connor. 
You can go first. OK. Let's pick a gobstopper and see who's doing the task. In your own time. Red. Oh, oh RJ. Okay. What a shame. How do you feel about being a squirty Santa, RJ? Wicked. Wicked. Cool. Yes. Word up. Never mind. Shh. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Your time starts now. OK, here we go. Pretty good to begin with. Ooh. Not a peep from anyone. Amazing. Filling the hat now. Lots of self-control from RJ, who's absolutely covered in shaving foam. Ho, ho, ho. Time up! Did you enjoy that, RJ? Yes. You did. Right, well, I didn't think that was too bad. You're the strangest looking Santa I've ever seen. Pretty good so far. Can Mr Gross make them crack? It's about to get tougher. Teddy! Trump! The chosen child will have 30 seconds to give my teddy bear a lovely, nice cuddle. And you'll have to do it in absolute silence. Shouldn't be difficult. Lyndon! Let's see who's hugging the teddy. Pick out a gobstopper, will you? Remember, it might even be you. Queen! Kira! Delightful! Have you ever hugged a teddy before, dear? Yeah. So you should be an expert. Let's see if you can do it quietly. And that goes for the rest of you, especially you, Santa. <laughs> So, Kira, what I want you to do is give him a lovely hug like this. Ooh, hug him, hug him, woo. Hug him tight, hug him tight, oh no. Excuse me. Forgot where I was for a moment. Yes, remember, it's Gobstop, it's listening. Your time starts now. Seems easy so far. This is a tough one. But they are holding it together. This is a first. Oh, little chuckle from Kira there. Still good. Spartacus! You naughty boy! You must have hugged him too hard. You're screaming out too many trumps. Oh! I really caught that one right in the face. This team are doing really well. What has Mr Gross got up his sleeve this time? Shh! Say... What? Say what? Say what? What? No, 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 no. It's called say what. It's not an instruction. You'll have to hold up speech bubbles for the chosen pupil to read in silence for 30 seconds. Let's pick a gobstopper, Kira. Who could it be? Right, Kira, you've picked yourself, which is delightful. Shh! Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. There we go, that's better. Your time starts now. No, Kira is like stone. Not even a smirk. Yeah. Okay, next speech bubble. Nothing. Oh, no, a giggle. My feet smell like baked beans. Nice. OK, last one. <laughs> oh, that got her. Good grief, boy! <laughs> well, I finally got you. Who know what? You are one of the quietest classes I've ever had. Unfortunately, one of your team let you down. I wonder who it was. <laughs> yes, you, you insolent child. You were sniggering all the way through those ridiculous speech bubbles being shown to you. Get out of my class. Dismissed. Ho, ho, ho. Out you go. Could have been a good start for this bunch if Kira and Connor weren't in the class. Giggle, giggle, giggle. At least Santa kept it shut. OK, so your first lesson's out of the way. How do you think it went? OK. Yeah? What did you have to do, Connor? 
I had a bowl of foam and I had to wipe it all in RJ's face and put a hat on top of him to make him look like Santa. <laughs> I bet you hated that, didn't you? Mm. Are you ready for the canteen, the Nora and Brittany? Yeah! Are you going to win the Golden Gobstopper? Yes! Wicked, off you go. Just in those doors. Good luck, see you in a bit. Yes, you know who you are. With one class down, it's time for some more silent training. Louie, it's lunchtime. Hello, my dears. How are you? Well, my name is Mrs. Nora Nugget, but you can call me Nora, dear. This is my lovely assistant, <laughs> Brittany. Hi. Well, we are going to be feeding you a number of delicious items from our menu this afternoon. There is something I would just like to bring you to your attention before we start. Um, can you see the silence sign there on the back wall? Yeah. If you see that flashing red at any point, that means you're making far too much noise. And you will have set off Miss Gobstop's Gobstop 2000, which she pays very close attention to in her office. What tasty treat is first on the menu? Donut dip. Right, now, so... The chosen teammate will be trying to fish the donut out of the sugar. All right? Okay. Right then. So let's find out who's going to be doing it. Um. Who would like to pick? I think ladies first. Kira, would you like to pick the first coloured gobstopper? Who's it going to be? <laughs> oh, Kira, you've picked yourself. Well, isn't that marvellous? <laughs> Please remember, this must be done, as I've said, in absolute silence. So, your 30 seconds, Kira, my dear. Start now. And she's off. Kira really needs to do well in this one, after her outbursts in the last class. Oh, a little chuckle, but well controlled. Quiet as a mouse. Nibbling on a sticky donut. Nearly there. Oh, that's time, Kira dear. Well done. Complete silence. You're brilliant, aren't you? What a fabulous class you are. Can they keep up the good work? Speed. A. Friend. <laughs> No. All right? Now, in this game, you will each be given a very long spoon and you will be feeding each other some chocolate mousse. Right, so you're all going to... I don't think we need the gobstoppers for this one, Brittany, dear. They're all playing, you see? No. Thank you, Brittany, dear. <laughs> yeah. Are you all ready? Yeah. Yes? Are you ready? Yeah. Let me hear you say yeah. Yeah. Marvellous. You have 30 silent seconds, my dears, starting from... <laughs> Now, will they crack? <laughs> oh, big laugh there from Kira. <laughs> some definite sniggering going on. Yep, definitely some chuckles. They just can't seem to control the giggling. <laughs> that is time! What a mess! <laughs> and there was quite a lot of giggling there, wasn't there? For your silent training, you're going to have to work a little bit harder than you did there. Well, I wish you very, very good luck in this afternoon in Miss Bunsen's science class and the best of luck for your final exam. Right, <laughs> off you go then, dears. <laughs> Cheerio! Yeah. Yeah. Lunch time. What a wonderful beginning, and what a terrible end. The Gobstop 2000 was going bananas. What were they doing in there? Get me Nora Nugget. So, you've met the dinner ladies, Nora and Brittany. How was that? It was weird. 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 Yeah? I think things started to fall apart a little bit in the feed-a-friend test, didn't they? When I was feeding Linda, my mouth was eating one side, and then I was, like, poking him in the mouth and the head. <laughs> Was it the idea to make RJ look a bit like Fred Flintstone? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> Looking good, man. So, listen, you're off to your science lesson next with Miss Bunsen, but it's all down to how silent you can be. It's just a way of testing you, because, of course, then you go to your final exam, and that's where it all comes into play. So, are you ready to go? Yeah. Science lesson, Miss Bunsen? Yeah. Beautiful. Good luck. Off you go. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks.
Attention! This is the School of Silence. You are reminded that all pupils attending Colonel Kitten's Soldier Club should march on tiptoes. It's time for more silent training in the last class of the day before their final exam. Space! The final frontier. More specifically, the solar system, which is a silent one. Oh, come in, children. Come in. What's a what a noise. Come and sit down. You'll end up setting up the Gobstop 2000. This science class is to be conducted in complete silence. Good. So, what does Miss Bunsen have in store for the giggling team from Bristol? Shh. Star suit. Star suit. One of you will be getting dressed up in my special patented suit. That will represent the sun, and the others will be throwing the planets to the sun. Hopefully, it will demonstrate gravity within our universe. Let's see who's going to be doing it. Here we go. Let Santa pick. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh it's Giggly Kira. Shh. Now this experiment <laughs> is to zip it. Is to be conducted in complete and utter silence. silence. Yes. Let's get started. Your silent time starts. No. Good start. Oh, no. Ooh, a big outburst there. <laughs> um, have they forgotten the rules? <laughs> oh! Again? Oh, oh, oh no. Stop talking. Hey Good aim, but they're definitely finding it a challenge to keep quiet. <laughs> they're getting worse. Oh, oh, time! 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 Oh, very... Good, the experiment, that is. But there was far too much giggling and talking all the way through it. <laughs> My goodness, <laughs> you seem to be getting worse. Not better. Oh dear, this is not how it's supposed to work. Shh. Rain! <laughs> Shh. Thank you. Catcher! <laughs> Rain catcher! What you have to do is, one of you will be up here with boxing gloves on, and you will have to catch the raindrops thrown by somebody else. How exciting. <laughs> now, who is going to be the one catching the raindrops? Connor, why don't you pick? There we go. Yes. Oh, oh and look at Connor, it's you! <laughs> Here we go. Lyndon, you don't have very long. You have to throw these raindrops, and you, Connor, have to catch them. Ready? Your silence starts now. Good catch. And very silent. <laughs> oh, a chuckle from Kira. <laughs> and again. Connor's doing well. <laughs> Lyndon's getting through those raindrops quickly. <coughs> and it's all over. Colonel Kitten's final exam. Now, do you think you're actually going to get your golden gobstopper at the end? Yeah. 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 Do you? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Well, you're going to have to be much quieter than that because Colonel Kitten's just won't put up with it. He really won't. Well, that's the end of my class. Off you go then. <laughs> no, I know. It's better to stop laughing with that pink hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Miss Bunsen continually says, Science in silence. Well, what a shame that didn't get through to Connor and Lyndon. A terrible racket! So, that was Miss Bunsen and science. How did it go? Fine. Yeah? How do you think you did? Good. You're getting better at staying silent? Yeah. Well, from, from Mr Gross's class, you were quite quiet, weren't you, in there? Yeah. And then with Nora and Brittany, got a little bit louder, got a little bit noisier. Yeah, but Mr Gross, man, he's scary. He is a bit scary. Is that why you were so quiet in his class? Yo, contact me. 
So, what's going to happen in the next exam then? Because it's your final exam and you have to be as quiet as you possibly can to pass. I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? Yeah. No. <laughs> One day. Or Is anyone going to do it? Do it, do it. Well, we're about to find out how you're going to do. You're going to go meet Colonel Kittens for your final exam. Come on, are you going to win the Golden Gobstopper? Yeah! yeah! All right, then, well, best of luck. He's waiting for you out there. Silence is the key. Attention! Attention! This is the School of Silence. Pupils are reminded that in future, the menu item Bubble and Squeak will now simply be known as Bubble. They've had their three classes, and now it's time for their final exam. Colonel Kittens will really put them to the test. To graduate and win the golden gobstopper, they must keep that shut. If they set off the gobstop 2003 times, they will be expelled! Their silent training's all been building up to this, their final exam, with Colonel Kittens. Right, you noisy little nitwits. I'm Colonel Kittens, and it's my job to make you crack. This is your final exam. If you set off the gobstop 2003 times, you will be expelled. If you manage to keep quiet and make less than three noises, you will pass and graduate, winning the Golden Gobstopper. How does that sound? Amazing! Right. Behind me are the instruments of your downfall. Believe you me, all of these will be coming your way, during which you must try not to squeal, scream, laugh, cry, shout, or discuss the horrible things that are occurring to you with each other. Do you think you can do it? Yes, sir! Yes, Colonel! Yes, Colonel! Good! I don't think you can. So let's find out who's right, shall we? Are you ready to suffer in silence? Yes, Colonel! I don't think so, but let's find out. Your time starts now. He's going for the old favourite, the tickling stick. Will it get them? No, they're staying strong. Good start. Here comes the orange splat. It's warm. Oh, a bit of talking there. <coughs> Who gets the leftovers, do we think? Who's the most vulnerable? Lyndon. Looking for signs. Nothing. Good. Colonel's going to have to step it up. A jug of yellow goo, just for you. Silly string. That's like an avalanche on Connor's head, but still nothing. How about some guns trifle? It's a double whammy, Kira and RJ. Still not a sound, though. The girly feathers. Oh, was that a snigger? Oh, time up. Right! Time up! How do you think you did? Amazing. Good. Pretty good! Yeah. Can't see, though. Sorry? Can't see. You can't see, though. Well, you can't have everything, can you, boy? Do you know what? I don't think that was half bad. But, did you set off the Gobstop 2000? Did you do it once? Twice? Or even three times? What do you reckon, Lyndon? Once. Once! I think I've had just about enough of you. I'm sick of the sight of you! Get out of my gym! You still here, boy! So, that's the final exam over and done with. Is it what you expected? No. <laughs> when you do exams at school, you have a bit of paper and a pen. Yeah. Well, not at the School of Silence. You have gunge and rubber chickens. How do you think you did? Good, good, good. You gonna graduate? Yeah. yeah. Would you like to find out? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this gob stops waiting for you. Off you go. <laughs> they look nervous, and they should be. It's time to find out how they did in their final exam. Mm. 
You've been sent here because you're all far too noisy. And I've put you through silent training today. How do you think you did? Amazing. Good. Well, let's take a look at your report, shall we? RJ, or should I say Santa Claus? Nice beard. Quite silent. I was impressed. You seem to like beards. Shh. Shh. You had a chocolate one in the canteen, too. Shh. Shh. Connor? Bit of a giggler. But you managed to control yourself. Well done. Shh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Lennon. Look into my eyes, Lennon. Could do better. A lot of laughing. <coughs> Pick it all up on the Copstop 2000, you know. Shh! <laughs> oh! Shira, the only girl. Did quite well at first. Started to crack in Mr. Gross's class, didn't you? Yes, I hear it all. And steadily got worse. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So how did you do in your final exam? Good. Did you fail? Or can I graduate you? Graduate? Graduate? I can reveal Unfortunately for some, fortunately for others, you graduated. Oh, a silent chair. It's like music to my ears. And I can now present you. With the golden god stopper. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. I'm so very silent. Oh, not a piece. RJ, it's nearly the same size as you. Be careful. <laughs> so, get out. Spread the silence. Don't say a word. Do Goodbye, children. Goodbye. See you in a bit. Yeah. Shut the door. Yeah! 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 Honey, go out there and tell them to be quiet. Okay. Uh, Miss Gobb stops says you can make lots of noise. Barney! That's almost it for CBBC on BBC One, but Tracy Beaker's about to start on the CBBC channel with new Planet Ad J after. Sean the Sheep, weekdays at 4.20, CBBC on BBC One.